This is the most chaotic country on the planet. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to India. So today I am traveling to India. Since if you saw my previous video, I announced how I am starting a wellness tea company where I plan to try and publicly build it from zero to $1 million in sales. And now my first step is developing the product. So I headed out here to India to meet with suppliers, learn about ingredients, and well, explore this unbelievable country. So first up on our agenda is to just get right into the middle of things and head to the center of Old Delhi and see what the most populated and probably most chaotic country on planet Earth is like. It's just like constant honking and noise and yelling. Bro, you're from you're from New York. You shouldn't you shouldn't have to worry about that. I was gonna say I thought New York was bad. This is ten times louder. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, India! India! Woo! The only one. <laughs> oh, you're the only one. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you guys. I feel like a line is about to start forming. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, after about 20 minutes of people waiting in line to take selfies with us, I think it's time to move onward. <laughs> Listen, we're just out here taking photos with the fans. They don't know who we are though. No idea. No idea. Just <laughs> white Americans, they love us. Oh my god. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Come on, go for it. This is crazy. Oh. Hello, how you doing? So this country's been a little bit more difficult to navigate Whoa. than I thought. <laughs> All good, man. Now we are on. Hello, how you doing? We are on a bicycle, not motorized. This is our engine right here. Manpower. <laughs> Strongest power there is. And hopefully he's gonna be taking us to the spice market to get some tea ingredients. I feel like we just traveled to a different planet right now. I've never experienced anything like this. My senses, both my nose, my eyes, my ears, everything is just overwhelmed by the chaos. <laughs> Another thing about India is that cows are sacred here, so they kind of just walk down the street and it's totally normal. You ain't gonna find a Big Mac here. Yeah, at a McDonald's they'll have chicken burgers, but they do not eat cow. Also, I'm pretty sure we're going like the totally wrong no, way, but yeah. it's still what an India. An awesome experience. <laughs> I don't understand what he says, but he's been a great biker. Let's check this out. So you're just walking through this chaos. And if you look up at the telephone pole, there's a monkey. He is literally a part of the traffic jam. Dude, my mind is still blown right now. I've heard about the whole cow thing here in India, but just insane to see a cow, a part of traffic, walking through the streets. So, today was a little bit of a fail. Since I did come out here to learn more about tea since I am starting a wellness tea company. And India is the mecca of all things tea. And as someone like myself who is an experienced traveler, I thought I'd be able to navigate the markets here in India. But this, this is just unlike anything else I've experienced before. So tomorrow, we did book a food tour as well as a tea tasting tour where we're gonna meet with a tea master and get to make our own blends. So we may have failed today, but tomorrow we'll be back out there. Back in old Delhi, man. I know Chris is gonna be stoked to go back there. <laughs> Dude, I actually liked it. I, I remember, know you did. I remember looking at you and you were kinda like, yo, get me out of here. And I mean, I definitely got to a point where I was ready to get home and shower, but to go for a couple hours is definitely a must. Also, definitely recommend splurging and staying in a five-star hotel. We are staying here in the Shangri-La, which is one of my favorite hotel chains, and it was only about $169 per night on Expedia. All right, well, we will see you guys bright and early from here in India. We got a boat ride in the morning, so this should be fun. Now, I did just wanna say how grateful I am to be in a place where I have my money working for me, even while I am traveling here in India. From the YouTube channel getting continuous views to even my investments. And with inflation getting to record high rates, it's critical to always have your money 
work for you. And my subscribers who are a part of this community of go-getters are already doing that. Thanks to today's sponsor, Masterworks. And Masterworks gives you the chance to invest in multi-million dollar art paintings. I recently went to their headquarters back home in New York City and was super cool to see the art that they're investing into. They have art from Warhol, Cause, and even Banksy. So what Masterworks does is they register these art pieces with the SEC, then break them into shares so you can invest in these multi-million dollar art paintings without needing millions. Masterworks has sold over $55 million worth of art with net proceeds being paid out to their investors. And they now have over 894,000 users and nearly $1 billion in assets under management. Offerings have sold out in just minutes, but my subscribers can get priority access to start investing today by clicking the link down below. So this morning, we are starting it off bright and early and going on a boat. Boatman. Boatman? Boatman. All right. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't oh. see anything. Is that your boat? Uh, this boat. That's your boat? Boatman. All right. How much? One person for uh, 500 rupees. One person. 30-minute boating. Also, we took a 25-minute Uber across the city to get here, and it was only a dollar seventy-five. And now we're about to go on this boat for about 30 minutes, I think you said. And it's gonna be like six bucks. And it's gonna be six bucks. Let's do this. Come you know on. what? I'm Brett. Nice to meet you, my friend. I am boatman. I cannot see anything. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. This is like. This is the start to like a horror movie. <laughs> like, we don't return. Yeah, like, we're just going into the abyss right now. What was that one movie? Like, Bird Box or something like that? Yes, Bird Box. I feel like we're in the real life Bird Box. With Except actual birds. Except we're not blind. Oh! Oh! What are you saying? Oh! Is that how you get the birds to come? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. If you are someone that is even the slightest bit afraid of birds, would not recommend this experience. But if you're not, totally would recommend this. I would recommend it too with this man right here. We got am, the boatman. I am the boatman, Vinod Kumar. My contact number double eight six zero nine six two four double five. Like those like local car dealership ads where it's like, if you want the best car, best price, call this number. <laughs> like eight six seven five. Boatman, Vinod Kumar. My contact number double eight six zero nine six two four double five. Jamna Ghat. I must say the Indian people have been so welcoming, what? so friendly. Oh, Jada famous ho gaya hai Do you know English? No English. No English. Okay. <laughs> he knows his Instagram and his phone number and how to plug. <laughs> That's all you need to know. I am boatman. Boatman. So later this afternoon, we are going on a food tour and going to get to meet with a tea master and do a tea tasting. But we have about an hour to kill, so we thought we'd come see the Red Fort, which is a huge tourist attraction here. I think it's supposed to be like 20 feet to our right, but you can only just see fog. It's not too red, it's more of a fog, but it's still really cool. It took us 20 minutes to find it, and it was right in front of us. So part of Chris's job, besides being a talented filmmaker to help me out with his channel, is also to provide good entertainment and good facts. Yes, obviously, the red fort. You saw it on the exterior, it's red. Then you come inside and you're like, wait a second, this is white paint. And that's because it was originally a white fort. And I believe it became red when the British took over. So maybe they didn't have enough paint. But that's why you see the exterior red and some parts inside white. Also, the architect of this place is the same person who designed the Taj Mahal. So we are back for a vengeance. We're back in the same place we were yesterday, but we're here with a professional guide. This is Chef Aditya. Namaste, everyone. We are here at Jama Masjid, one of the biggest mosques built in 1656 by the King Shah Jahan. Now we'll be walking inside the street known as Chawri Bazaar, which is the world's biggest market of wedding invitation cards. Mm -hmm. So in India, we have a culture. We invite 1,000 to 1,200 people. My wedding was very small, 
just 700 people. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, your wedding was small and it was 700, 700 people? people. Well, a small wedding How do you yeah. know 700 people? Mostly I didn't know them. My father's friend, my cousins, my brothers, someone from the bride side. So this is how the people get together in the weddings and we have a good time there. Wow, well, I'm glad that we're with you and let's uh, check this out. So the main purpose we wanted to come out here was to learn as much as possible about the different spices, teas and foods here in India. We are in one of the most famous places of here known as Sham Sweets. Now if I'm telling you about sweet, that doesn't mean it's only sweet dishes. We have a combination of curry, breads, snacks, sweets and some drinks here. Even the first Prime Minister of India, he used to get some snacks from here. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Do you know what it is? <laughs> I have no idea. We are starting with this curry. First bite, everything is very spicy. So spicy, <laughs> a flavor bomb. You can feel something hitting your back and throat. <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> I honestly feel like if I like really breathed out a lot of air right now, like fire would just come out. <sighs> so generally, people have an idea that Indian food is about green chilies and red chilies, but it's not like that. Indian food uses a blend of different spices which has its roots in Ayurveda. Now Ayurveda says each of the spice has a medical purpose or medicinal purpose in our body. Turmeric is uh, like it's good for your immunity, it's good for your skin and it has anti-inflammatory properties. So each of the spices which we add is for a medicinal value. No, I know that India is known for turmeric and that's even like why I wanted to come out here was to learn more about that ingredient specifically because of the anti-inflammatory and all the health benefits that come with it. Is that in this curry? If you eat traditional curries like this, the medicinal properties will still affect you. You will get those benefits. Everything about India is alive. Is alive and sensory overload. But <laughs> I love it. Everyone needs to experience India at least once in their life. So we continue to explore Old Delhi and learn more about the traditional spices and their health benefits. And with starting my wellness tea business, it's super helpful to get a real hands-on experience with these ingredients as well as getting to experience the way of life here in India. Since another main reason why I wanted to travel here is because I know how people like Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, The Beatles, and many others came here to see their way of life and get enlightened. So class is officially in session. So today we are going to be learning about different types of teas and all of their ingredients and what they do. And we are here with our new friend, Vikram, how long have you been working with teas? Uh, so it's now almost 38 years. So this here is one of the most popular drinks in all of India. This is masala chai tea. Is there any health benefits to this drink or why is it so popular? Sure. Three of the very principal ingredients of masala tea would be dry ginger, green cardamom and cinnamon. So ginger is very good for the body immune system, especially in colds, coughs and cardamom. You know, the smell of cardamom just increases the blood flow to your brain. What ingredient was that last one? Uh, so cardamom? it was green cardamom. It's a green long name. cardamom. Green cardamom. Green cardamom. I gotta remember that. So that's good for the brain. Yeah. You will get to see and smell the green cardamom okay. and see if suddenly you feel uh, a brain very, blast. very intelligent. A brain blast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I do feel a little smarter now. So right now we are about to create our own blend. And I didn't even tell you, so I am starting my own tea company in America. Wow. So that's why I came out here to learn more about tea. Fantastic. So even the green plants, I would love to try and use that oh, yes. in our tea. So a herb that's been getting really popular that I've been learning about is called ashwagandha and it's grown here in India and I just learned the meaning. It means horse smell, is that correct? Uh, yes, I would say so, but it's more to do 
with the energy and the stamina of a horse. Ah, so okay. that's the real correlation. Ashwagandha does have so many incredible health benefits. It helps a lot with cognitive thinking. And something else I just learned, you said with, with it sex. Helps you sexy, exactly. <laughs> Good to know. I'm gonna have to I give some of that a try. try. The noise of beast blend. <laughs> yeah, it's a beast blend. Beast blend. Beast blend. <laughs> Brett's beast blend. Brett's beast blend. Put it on packaging everywhere. Mm -hmm. Should that be the name of the tea company? <laughs> Brett's beast blend. <laughs> All right, let's try Brett's beast blend. That's right. We're manifesting that name. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> but it's gonna help with our, our brain power, intelligence. We have some good taste, some good aromas, some sex and, drive, and some sex drive. What a good, good health. <laughs> Shoot, that's pretty good. Nothing was too overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. it was a good balance. As a tea guru, what do you think of uh, Brett's Beast Blend? As of now, in the present form, I think it's an amazing, considering the effect that it has on my body right away. Wow. All right. So not bad for the first start. Oh, I think I'm pleasantly surprised. I think, I think you have that little Midas touch here. <laughs> After only being in India for two days, I've already learned so much I didn't know about this country, teas, and herbs and spices. And if you haven't checked out episode one, where I talk about how I am publicly documenting this business of trying to go from zero to $1 million in sales to build a school in Asia, then click the link in the description down below to check that out. Until next week, let's get out and get busy in the next one.